why the narcissist will always hate you. They will always see you as their rival, as their competitor or opponent, as someone who is competing for the same object or goal. They will always hate you and they will always want to cause harm to you. It's like their only purpose in life is to cause you severe physical and mental suffering. They only know how to assess the risks, possibilities and effects of a situation or course of action. They only know how to make plans in a devious way with the intent of doing something wrong. And they have to be the person who is successful and dominant. They have to be the person who is in a position of authority. They have to be the best at something. They have to be in charge. They have to be the most important person. They have to be all powerful and all knowing. But they're not really this badass, threatening or intimidating person that you may think they are. They're not as powerful or destructive as they may portray themselves to be. Their disorder is based on fragility. It's based on weakness and vulnerability. That's what separates them from normal people. They just invent an imaginary character so that they can cope and deal with certain situations. They have no fight in them. They just have a false sense of pride. They pretend to be conscious of their own dignity. They pretend to be proud of themselves. They pretend like they're important for whatever reason. But if that character fails, they will just abandon it. And they will build a different character and personality. They will play the victim. They will act like you've done something wrong to them. They hold no accountability for their actions because they're no longer the character that they were before. Now they're a different character. So they just forget everything they've done and they learn how to cope with their past failures. They can just switch off their character whenever they feel that it is favorable for them to do so which is how they can avoid accountability for their actions. They can say that they're not that person. There's someone else. There's someone who isn't responsible for any of that. Because this new character may be accepted by other people. It's not being judged. And for this new character to exist, it has to receive admiration and praise. When the narcissist targeted you, they were looking for weaknesses. They were looking for something you don't do well because deep down they hate you. Which is why they will never see you for who you really are. They only see what they can take advantage of. They hate anything powerful or strong. Which is why they hate authority. Because authority is powerful. It has the power to make decisions and enforce obedience. But although they hate authority, they also respect it because they see it as a threat. They see it as something 
that has the ability to cause danger or harm to them because authority can expose them and there's nothing they can really do about it which is why they hate authority because they're very weak and fragile people they bully you they act like they're not worried or concerned about anything they're not changing their purpose or intention but they are affected by their narcissistic injuries even though they may not show it they're very envious of other people that's what fuels them that's why they're never at rest that's why they can't stop because they're constantly looking at other people and wondering how they can be determined and successful without having to lie or exploit anyone without being weak but they really believe that people are no different to them they don't believe that someone could really be a genuine person and still be successful in something without having to resort to debauchery and dissipation which is what the narcissist engages in they can't comprehend that they can't see how it could be possible which is why they sit back and study the faults and weaknesses of other people so that they can attack them so that they can bring them down and they do this through devaluation through the reduction or underestimation of the worth or importance of a person They will represent a person at less than their true value or importance so that the narcissist can feel like they're in control it might start off as something small and humorous so that it doesn't really startle you they always have to be better than you at something they will even lie just to make you seem less important than you really are because they want to make you feel like you're nothing they want you to think that you have nothing to be proud of they want you to think that what you've accomplished isn't a big deal which is why they will be indifferent to your value and accomplishments they will act like they don't see it or as though it doesn't mean anything to them you might mention something you have accomplished and they will say they know someone else who did that but they're lying to you they're just making it up to make you feel like what you've accomplished isn't a big deal by saying that a lot of people have accomplished the same thing or more than what you have they do this to minimize your true value and importance they're trying to tell you that you're not who you think you are but they don't do it directly it's done under the radar so that you can't confront them on it they ignore you they postpone their consideration of you they treat you as a low priority they withhold from you the proper attention and respect that you deserve because they're trying to make you feel unimportant and irrelevant they want you to feel worthless they have to change your way of thinking about who you know you are they have to change how you view everything that you've accomplished and if they can convince you they can gain control over you they can break you down and still keep you around them 
because a lot of the things they do, they don't do it directly. It's under the radar. So you have to pay close attention to be able to catch it. They will point out things they don't like about you. They will say that you're doing something wrong or that it's better to do something their way. They will question the way you do things as though you don't know how to do anything because they want to make you doubt your own abilities. They want to make you think you can't do anything right. Because that's how they break you down and gain control over you. If you've gone through all of this with a narcissist and you still choose to stay with them, they know you're under their control. But it's not always about money or sex. Sometimes they target people just to hurt them. Just to break them down and then discard them. It gives them satisfaction to feel like they're the top dog who has conquered you. Which is why they will strip away your worth. They will strip away your value. They will strip away your dignity and pride. They will strip you down and reduce you to nothing but a shell of who you used to be just so they can feel like they're something more than what they actually are. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.